so I'm 39 weeks and how many days am I 39 weeks and four days and this is she you're okay back with a random yet informative video and for today's video i'm going to be showing y'all what's in my hospital bag and i think i'm gonna say i completed it as of this week so this week i make well i made 36 weeks on thanksgiving which was like a couple of days ago and today as of today i am 36 weeks and four days so we almost there, about to reach full term this Thursday. So yeah, I'm gonna show y'all what I have in my bag. Um, and then also give y'all a sneak peek of the install of her car seat. <laughs> Don't wanna release. Okay, well, I don't know Maybe that's what you have to do. <laughs> Young lady, it's the button. You see, no, there's no button. Press that, press that. What you just did, <laughs> uh huh. Y'all gonna take off this thing, yes, on her side. What's the point? Have it. No, we don't see. Let's see. What? Ow, that's that one. Okay. Oh, what do you got to tighten it? <laughs> but that's Seatbelt one for me. Why your seatbelt so far out? You should say, bitch, come get me. <laughs> okay. This is not a vagina. This, my seatbelt is not a penis. I shouldn't have to come searching for your hole. Jesus. Oh, Mr. Gear. Oh. Now she's secure. Black sheep girl. Y'all wanna see me speak to my baby? Come. Come check out my baby, y'all. Shh. I'm not gonna let you know see my baby speak. Look! She, she's so cute! <laughs> Everybody, don't get jealous now, because she's cute. And yeah, I didn't install it. I had some help from my wonderful mother who's been helping me along this pregnancy journey with through everything. Like honestly, I'm so thankful for her because Without her, I'm not sure how I would have got through everything, let alone just, yeah. But let's just say I didn't expect, um, I didn't expect her to help as much. I really ex felt like she'd be disappointed in me, even though I'm grown and, you know, it's still like that, like, sense of, I don't know, it's, it's hard to explain. But she's really been an amazing help and I'm so thankful for her, so yeah enough of me going on so for starters i wanted a suitcase because how i was feeling even though i know i'm not going to be like carrying the bags or what whatever um i wanted a suitcase because i felt like i wanted to make it easier for one on me but also on whomever is going to be there for my you know the process so i got a suitcase so it can be like I can be dragging it around or whatever instead of carrying the little tote or the tote bag that I was originally going to carry, which is heavy. So I got this and it doesn't close all the way right now, but I realized I need to film this video. So yeah. Okay. So 
it's orange. And I could really use this for future travels that I'm going to have with me and my baby. And yeah, so let's open it. I don't know if you can see. I tried to get it to where you can see at least somewhat of what's in here. But I'm going to take it out. Or take what I can out. And then I'm going to do clip ups. Okay. So on one side... And if you see me veering off to the side, it's because I have the, like, the setup is a freaking mirror and stuff. But on one side, I have this, and this has all my hygiene stuff in there. Um, yeah, hygiene stuff in there. So this is, like, my body wash slash face wash. Um, some toothpaste. Deodorant. I don't even use that deodorant, but that's only what they had in travel size. You know, you got to keep this because um, I don't play about mine. Then I have some Listerine stuff. You know, mouth, yeah, mouth fresh. More hand sanitizer because, um, yeah, don't play about mine. Lip gloss, got to keep that on deck. My little toothbrush or whatever. Then I have some wipes just so I can wipe down some stuff when I get in the room. Because recently I did go to the hospital and um, let's just say that triage area was not what's that. Um, I don't know what this is, but I'm going to just keep it in there. And then this safety precautions. Then a few pads and a liner. I don't know. Okay. But that's what I have here. And then also, I don't know why I have two, but I just kept it as this pack. But... I have these uh, squishy things or sponges so when I take my shower and I'm going to be pa packing um, either a ziplock or a plastic bag oh also I got this which if you follow me on TikTok you notice I mean you know the day that I bought this when I was basically bouncing back still healing but bouncing back um, again or whatever okay can I open it? Okay, I don't know which one I'm going to take, so I'm going to just throw both in there. If the ball won't come out of the socket and whatnot, you know. I'm going to Okay, so yeah, got them. And just throw that over. We'll just put... Probably going to need some scissors for that after. But... Alright, that's what's gonna happen. Right now. Then I have this postpartum belt. I'm probably not gonna use it right after, but it's not, it doesn't, it's like flimsy, like it's not what I was expecting, but I guess it'll do just to help somewhat for the first few days or weeks that I'm, you know, have the belly or whatever still. But this is to help my stomach go back down, but also help with erectile dysfunction. So uh, like separation of abs and stuff, you know, whenever women have babies, you know, that can get out of order. So to get my abs and stuff back intact somewhat, or at least to start before I go back and start exercising and stuff, um, that's going to help with that. Then I got two socks, three socks. I love fuzzy socks. You know, my baby's going to be born around or she better stay in there till around Christmas so yeah then I have a towel because I heard those towels are trash and honestly I'm gonna be I'm most likely gonna end up bringing one of my own pillows or purchase pillows to take there because that pillow was mad flat and I was just not freaking with it so yeah but this blanket I'm this towel and this is where I'm putting all of her and my um, important documents and stuff that you know we need and yeah this is so cute doesn't it remind you of me like so artsy <laughs> thanks okay so that's all on one side gotta re put that back together and so damn okay so I really don't know like 
I watch so many freaking videos as to what I should buy or what I should have for my bag and hers and I just I just I just don't know so I just I just threw it in there and that's what we're going to do okay so I figured <sighs> I don't know okay I, I'm still lost like oh whatever um so go home outfit honestly I was thinking this set don't mind how I did that but go home outfit is this like pajama it is it, might not even be go home outfit honestly like you'll see whenever I do her bag but go home it's either go home or like whenever they take the pictures or whatever even though I really don't want pictures taken of her but I, okay anyways but yeah so this is one and it's a set and mind you I love buffalo plaid like y'all already know if you watch the target haul so yeah I'm gonna do this and then I'm gonna have my little diaper whatever even though they have those diapers but I'm gonna see how those go postpartum there like right after I give birth and then yeah if I don't like how they are then I'm gonna just do this but then there's these socks that I figured will go with this or I have the other black socks because I get cold easily and I know the hospital is freaking cold so yeah but honestly this might be my go home outfit and I low-key wanted to be like cute and stuff but I was like who, who am I trying to impress going home child okay and I'm probably gonna be in pain which ugh, I don't know but I have a nursing bra a black nursing bra and then I have these you know cute cute little things or whatever then some more socks and then since it's going to be cold and it's honestly been mad cold lately in Houston in Texas Houston Texas yeah whatever um it's been cold in the morning so this is one of the coldest winters or autumns or whatever you call it um we've had in quite some time especially around the actual holiday season and stuff so I feel like December is going to be mad cold especially in the morning because you know I'm sure they discharge you in the morning I believe I don't know but my favorite flannel I was going to wear some tights but then I was like I don't know how I'm going to be because I really don't like wearing tights now so yeah and then some sweatpants and it's loose and that's gonna be that wait i think i gotta pack her under i don't know we're gonna see we're gonna see how i feel actually i'm I, i'm gonna pack a um no because then it's gonna get in the way of the bird i don't know i might pack a um cami thingy too then after that i have this dress it's a nursing gown boo gonna be looking all cute or whatever after i deliver my baby girl okay so okay this is the robe oh gosh i can't even do it okay so this is the robe that comes with it and mind you i got this at walmart this is like three dollars and i think this was like eight it was on like major dis thing but i didn't know that until i rung it up at the uh register so i was like oh that's a steal so I figured after I give birth to her and go through all that mess and get out of that um, labor and delivery gown, I'm going to take a shower or whenever I get a chance to take a shower, I'm going to take a shower and put this on. And this would be like my first two days stay or whatever, unless I change into the other thing and then go from there. And then the house and the, yeah, okay. So, yeah, but this is like the first outfit I'm going to be wearing. And then look, the little clamps. It's all sexy, schmexy. It's all schmexy and stuff. And then look, they got a little clamp. Girl, you can't tell me nothing. Oh, excuse me, I gotta feed my baby. <laughs> but um, yeah. So then the socks. Oh snap, the socks. I have some gray fuzzy socks that I can pair with this. So. I'm a, I gotta find those and put those in here. But yeah, this is the outfit I'm gonna wear after. And then, just in case, um, I don't know what, just in case what. But I got some more, um, nursing bras. And these are the sleeping kind. 
And then I just got some regular underwear. These are mad cute. I actually wore, there's one more pair and I wore white. And they're actually really comfortable. And then these are like good for tuck, tuck, tummy tuck or whatever. Like, you know, keeping your boom. So I guess the snapback is cute. But I actually, fun fact, I low-key love underwear like this. It might be funny because I'm mad young, but I really like underwear like this. Like, girl, they're comfortable. Then I can use these as pad underwear and still be cute. Like, don't come for me. But, yeah okay so that's all that's in my bag but i do have one more thing that i want to show y'all okay if i can get up because oh getting up Ooh, that's been so and then last but not least i have these and these are the shower shoes slash shoes i'm honestly going to be going home with and yeah that's all i'm packing for my bag and she has her own bag that I'm taking. And I just did hers. Uh, so, like, her bag can be prepared. Because the first week, I believe first week or two, is going to be a lot of traveling from doctor's appointments and stuff. And then, honestly, after that, I'm, just, I'm not going to even be going nowhere. Unless I have to get food. But I'm not really going to be going nowhere. I'm staying inside. And she's not really having any visitors. Well, I'm not having no one visit her especially knowing that's of irrelevance um so yeah and fun fact i am not posting my baby on the internet the most i would say people would get or like most people would see would be like the clothes or the back of her head or something or whatever but other than that like posting my baby's full face and all this other mess no i'm sorry not me got the wrong mama but um yeah, so that was everything that was in my hospital bag and that I honestly, I can think of. And then, oh yeah, I'm gonna be packing my Switch. So then I'm gonna be packing my Switch. Oh my God, don't mind. I, 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 sorry. I, I low key, yes, I do like the Joker. I mean, I love the Joker. Like, whatever, hardly point. Okay, anyways, so I'm gonna be packing my Switch and then also there's a book that I'm going to be packing too. It's either this book, which is This Is How You Heal. And I it just came in and mind you, I pre-read it, but it wouldn't like let me like finish the reading on Amazon Kindle, Kindle or whatever. So I was like, um, I have to purchase that book because I was intrigued. And it's really like, I already know, it's stuff that I already know, but it's like dang you know and then my other book it's like the elements or something it's on tiktok that's all i can really think of of what to pack and i've seen moms like pack uh the dermis dermis plus and all this other mess i'm just gonna order that for when i get out of it out of the hospital so i can have it when i get home so it can be easier but i really want to like experience the hospital and just get that experience and see how it really goes for me but honestly i'm just trying to keep a positive mindset because the last encounters i've been having at the hospital at least with certain nurses i know nurses or even just like people that i go there and talk to or whatever has not been like the friendliest like they're really low-key rude and it's kind of annoying as shit because it's like you sign up for this job or you decide to do this job and i get that you're overstimulated but child go take a breather and like come revisit again because not everyone puts you um you know not everyone is the reason as to your attitude so don't take it out on me and there's no reason to treat me any different from the lady that wasn't that's in front that's inside that's the back the next person that comes behind me just because you feel some type of way or you see that i'm younger or you see that I'm a different color. Like, come on, be for real. It is 2022, about to be 2023. Y'all need to get y'all acts together in this healthcare field, whatever field you are, actually any field, because uh, whew, I'm tired of going to these appointments and just even when I do have to go to the hospital and stuff, it's just like, 
why is it so much um what is that word this it's it's a word it's a it's a word um but i can't think of it but you know what i'm saying like i really hate that like that really that is really one of the biggest pet peeves of mine like i didn't come at you with an attitude don't come at me with attitude because then that's when i'm gonna have to get disrespectful to them okay okay but yeah other than my little rant <laughs> i hope you like my video and what i packed in my hospital bag hopefully you can take something from this also i am a first time mom so this is like i'm still clueless like i'm probably i don't even know if you like comment down below and subscribe to my channel if you like what you see that's enough of me until the next video which will be of my baby bag <laughs> peace and pretty soon i'm not i don't know i look at me right out ideas but i have stuff i want to do but then i don't want to do and then i don't know but we're gonna see where this world takes me so <laughs>